Even in the digital age, paper is everywhere. It wraps your cereal and water bottles. It delivers your bottom line and your favorite line. Today, the average half-hour TV show generates nearly 300,000 pages of script per season. Starring Lucille Ball. All this at a devastating environmental cost. The American paper industry logs over 5 million acres of forest every year, and it is the second largest industrial user of energy. In 1950, 100% of American households bought at least one newspaper. It was the golden era of the press, and the golden era of consumption. Here's a young business wife in search of a nourishing but effortless entree for a husband who'll be home almost as early as she is. She'll get a hot or cold meal that's prepared, taken home, and served in paper containers so inexpensive that we can afford to throw them away after using them only once. When in 1987, a garbage barge spent six months roaming the globe to find a place to dump its trash, composed mostly of discarded paper, the story highlighted the need for better recycling practices. By the 1990s, every state government adopted purchasing policies that favored recycled paper products. And in 1993, President Clinton decreed that federal agencies must buy paper that had at least 20% post-consumer content. Today, that number continues to rise. Uh, usually uh, about 70 to 80 percent of all the papers are recycled. For example, um, this paper, as you see, you see sign of recycling is on that. It's 70 pound uh, uh, clean paper. And over here, as you see, it's covered. Also, you see the sign of recycled on each paper. Just one day is going to be 100 percent recycled paper. Greener is better. <laughs>